Hi, I'm Pox. Couch Guy. And you're watching Two Smart Guys, PSP Hacking 101, Episode 30, Converting PS1 Games Over to the PSP Part 2. Part wow, two. that's a long title. That's a really long title. <laughs> it's like a paragraph of a title. <laughs> PS1 Games on PSP. Part yeah, two. so um, if you looked at our new website, Two Smart Guys, uh, Hanzo Zach here of Cognizant Design, uh, he sent me his Japanese PSP, and I needed to get it able to run his old PS1 games on it. Um, luckily, it was an older firmware, so all I had to do was upgrade it to the official Sony 5.03 firmware, and that's a unique firmware because it is capable of running the latest Chick Hen exploit. And the Chick Hen is the homebrew enabler, and that'll allow us to run other things, such as a custom firmware installer. So um, I'm going to show you now a really quick overview of how to do this. There's other episodes where we go into more detail. But basically, after you've upgraded, you put the TIFF image in, it reboots, and then you're able to install the custom firmware. Uh, in this case, since it's a FAT, a 5.5. And this is one of the la latest custom firmwares that's still able to run all the fun goodies that we want it to run. And it's pretty unique, too, because you can also make Pandora batteries with this, the install of this custom firmware if you're trying to flash somebody else's fat that's gone too far. Um, anyways, <laughs> we're going to use a utility called Magic ISO for ripping the disks. Uh, and just make sure you use the extract disk function when you put in your PS1 game into your PC, and then a program called Simple Pop Station uh, GUI. Simply browse to where you saved your ISO, and then pick the destination of where you want it to output to, and just hit go. I mean, you don't really have to mess with any of the other settings. Put the compression as high as you can to save disk space, uh, unless you got plenty to spare. And then you just take the folders that it outputted, and drag them to your memory stick uh, slash PSP slash game, just like any other homebrew that you have on your PSP. And then you can just run it, just like any other game, right off your PSP, and you start running uh, PS1 games. It's that simple. Wow, that's simple. That simple. It's, it's that simple. And it takes a title this big for something. Like, <laughs> like the title was longer than the explanation on how to do it. Um, on our website, we have some more details on customizing these images so they don't just say PS1 on them. But it's basically running Sony's emulator. Pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, thing to note, th things to note are that uh, I'm using a fat PSP, and I need to try this on a PSP 3000. Um, I'm not 100% sure you can do it. The tutorials I was reading was kind of iffy. But it basically works the same way. You upgrade your PSP to 5.3, and then you run HEN, and then there's a special custom firmware that's made for HEN. And it'll run, and it'll allow you to run, I think, ISOs. Uh, or it'll allow you to run the PSP UMD games that are ripped, um, and I'm not, and it, and it seemed kind of iffy on whether or not it could play the the PS1 games. So that's next week's episode. <laughs> yeah, it's down there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you like this show, um, tune in every week. We're we're here at justin.tv slash two smart guys. At 9.30 Pacific Standard 9.30, Time. 9.30 Pacific Time, 11.30 Central, 12.30 uh, Eastern Time. And, and Ragu will probably be here next week if we can figure Let's out a way to get so. him over here. <laughs> Live via satellite. And if you're into like the funny little bits that we did on some of our older shows, we're actually doing a series now called Beyond the Clipping Plane, where it's like three or four minutes each episode, and it's... It's fun stuff. You guys get sucked into a video game. It's, it's good. See you guys next week. <laughs> this has been a Two Smart Guys production.